printf. Printf is a command used for printing formatted text. The format for printf is system.out.printf, quote, a control string, quote, comma, values. The control string stores text and flags that define where data will be inserted into the text and how it shall be formatted. Values are the values that will be inserted into the text. You'll see how these work when we get to examples. Flagging locations. So flagging locations for data. When, you, when, you're def, when you're flagging a location for data insertion, you're required to put a percent and a type. The percent lets the control string know that you would like to put data here. The type lets the control string know what type of data is being inserted. D is used for int, and the reason we use D instead of I is for decimal integer, an integer in base 10. F is used for double because F stands for floating point. That's the decimal place in a number that has decimal places. C is for char, and S is for string. Between those two required options, the percent and the type, we have three optional options, the first of which is left aligned. If you do not use this option, by default it's going to right align. If you do set a value for this option, the only thing you can set is minus, which will be left aligned. There is no option for center. Minimum space. This is the minimum number of characters the data will take. For example, if something is five long and you say it should take up eight characters, it will add three spaces to either the left or the right, depending on if it's left aligned or right aligned. If you tell something to take up eight spaces and it takes 15, it takes 15. It will not trim down the data, so it's not going to throw anything away. This is the minimum. There is no maximum. Decimal places. The number of decimal places the data should have. If you put a 3 here, it'll do 3 decimal places. So let's just say we did 1. If we wanted 1 decimal place and we had 0.15, when we tell it to have 1 decimal place, it will be a 2 because when it displays the number, it displays it rounded. So if we had one point, sorry, point 0.13, it would be 0.1. All right, percent means we want to insert data. So just like with backslashes, it gets more complicated to actually show a percent in a control string. To show a percent in a control string, you have to do percent percent, and that will display a percent. We're going to look at a quick example for printf int age equals 17, date double value equals 9.8764534, which is a pretty long number, and we have string name, Jane. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the pen. Oh, let's go back. So I was supposed to grab the pen, and then click it. So here we have a percent %s. This means we would like text to appear here. Here we have a percent %d. We would like a number to appear. So if we go after the control string, the first thing we see is name. Name is a string. It takes the first thing after the control string, name, which is a variable, and takes the value of that variable and inserts it in the first percent. So name stores Jane, and that's where we get Jane down at the bottom. So this is our output. Jane is. See, it's percent s, so text will come here, space is, space a number. That's what the percent d is. The second parameter is age. When we take age and insert it in, its value is 17. So that's why the 17 appears before the is in years old. So Jane is 17 years old. When we do our next printf, we get three hyphens. They show up down here. And then later, we get three more hyphens. They show up down here. And then this 10 says you have 10 places for characters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then it says dot 4 decimal places. So if I want 
four decimal places. If I go up to this number, here's this section, 8764. But when I round to get four decimal places, this 4 is going to display as a 5. It's not actually changing that 4. It's just going to display a 5 when we print the number. Students, it is now 3 o'clock. If you are not with a sponsor, coach, or attending a tutorial, please leave the building at this time. Thank you and have a great day. As you heard, it is now 3 o'clock. All right, so when we go back down here, notice I did not put a minus. That means this is going to write a line because the default is right align if we leave the alignment off. So I'm going to start writing in the number. Here's the 5 that was rounded, the 6, 7, 8, dot, 9. Notice this takes up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces, leaving 4 spaces to fall before the 9. This is how we get the right alignment over here. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 spaces fall before the 9.8765. Alright, that's it.